Whoever's in last place, whoever that person is, if there was a world chart ranking and Sally was dead last, she can talk. I don't know how to get people out of depression. I'm just trying to change people's perspective. Gratitude is my fuel. I think most people burn out because they're looking for money. I think people are depressed when they don't have things into context. They don't realize how lucky they have it. And two, they don't feel in control. When the game itself and the process and gratitude is the mix of your gasoline, you'll run forever. I've already won. D-Rock, this game's vigged. I already won. I figured myself out. I know what makes me happy. Nothing in the world makes me happier. Everybody is the happiest when they get to do what they want to be doing. When you get to do what you want to do, you've won. I think the problem is that people get to a place where they don't want to go backwards because they get fancy, right? They get accustomed to a certain lifestyle. They want certain things. When it's about getting a watch or buying a new home or getting a new pair of Yeezys, you're finished. And I will tell you the number one thing that scares the fuck out of me. (laughs) Nice watches and Ferraris. And so I see a lot of people looking for quick highs. That is just not sustainable. Glass half empty is a terrible way to live life. This is full as fuck for me. I know exactly what to do with what's in there. I know exactly what the fuck to do with this and other people don't know what to do with a full fucking container. Entitlement, you're fucking entitled. If you ever in your life bought a $5 fucking coffee from Starbucks, you are fucking soft. Globally, in the 7.7 billion people, you're fucking fancy, you're soft. There's 50 million people that came from dick shit and fucking made it. So what the fuck's your excuse? Both my parents were crackheads, and? Like, uh, I lost my job, and? My husband's beating me, and? I'm not fucking saying these are small things, these are the hardest things in life. Here's my question, life's about alternatives. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Nobody has anything to complain about. Unless you're the worst human on earth. In the world rankings of humans, you're 7.7 billion. You live in a cage and you're a slave somewhere where nobody's looking. Because that's who that person is. Unless you're that person, stop complaining. My stuff is for the complainers who don't realize they have time to fix it. They just have to change their behavior. Can't complain about your weight if you didn't put in the work. You may be genetically disposition to not have as great of a body or be as healthy and that's just life and that's real. But I wasn't allowed to complain about my health at 37. I wasn't doing the right things. Or you can sit at home, play fucking 2K and blame the world for your shortcomings. Period. They don't wanna do that. Brother, people don't wanna work. You know why? It's easier to complain. Mentality. The religion, baby. Like you, like. But if you don't complain, then you, then you won. You could do it any way you want. Make a dollar a year, make it all the dollars in a year. You've won. It's not about that. Spend every minute with your kids. Spend no minutes with your kids. If you're happy and you don't complain, you've won.